Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Way of the Hunter, and we're here in the Nez Perce Valley, and we are going to be hunting some moose today. Um, I haven't really hunted a lot of moose yet on the map, so I thought it'd be a good time to check it out, and we have a bull right there, and I thought I spotted another decent bull. It's really hard to tell, though what's good in this game especially with the moose because i've seen some moose i thought were really big and it turned out that they weren't as big as i thought they were okay wait a minute wait 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 wait. we got some moose over here actually we have quite a few those are like just about four moose over here and we are not quite close enough for the hunter sense to spot them so we are going to have to work our way down here luckily this is a pretty flat area, but that's also the, uh, the scene that's kind of bad about it. Now, personally, I would rather take a longer shot, but not knowing what they are is preventing me. That one there, that one there looks decent to me. I don't know if that's the one I spotted earlier, though. That's the only thing. Because I thought he was moving more to the west, but he could have he could have turned back around. Um, the animals in this game they do some strange things. <laughs> so I mean it could be um, another thing. I was up in this area because I was trying to do a mission where we have to harvest some lesser scalp and. Ross's goose, but I seen those moose there, and I was like, you know what? That's just uh, too good of an opportunity to pass up. So we're going to try to cross this stream here, and we're going to head over to that little rocky hill and see if we can't get a better look at these moose. I don't really need to be crouching just yet. They're, well, they're under 400 yards away now, but we should still be good. Okay, we can get a spot on them now. So that is just a young. What is Ooh, that is a four-star mature adult. That is the biggest moose I have seen yet on the map, guys. Not going to lie. That is the biggest one I've seen yet. I have no idea. Now, if we look at him... Compared to this one here, he looks pretty old to me, right? This one here's got more, more of a uh, ledged brown fur. He looks actually pretty old to me. So I think we're gonna try to get this guy right here. We had the 300, so it's a perfect time to test that out. And uh, yeah. That's not the 300. <laughs> I forgot I put the. I had the 300 secondary. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. And we'll see. Well, right there. I would love to see him go a little more broadside for me, though. I mean, we could definitely make that shot. And I'm. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, he's he's behind that rock. That is not what I want. Let's see here. I don't think I can get a, a higher position here. I don't think we can go up on these rocks. No, we can't, unfortunately. Let's see here. Ooh, that looks like... Okay, if he moves past that tree... And come this way a little more, we'll, we'll take the shot. He needs to go a little more broadside, though. So, guys, while we're waiting for him to go broadside, I'd like to ask you guys, leave in the comments, if there's anything you would like to see for a video idea, if there's something that uh, maybe you're struggling with in the game or would just like to know more about, let me know in the comments, and I will try my best to get a video out explaining whatever it is that you're, uh, you're having issues with. Okay, come on, big boy. Mm 
we may even get this guy mounted because moose are another one of my absolute favorite animals. I know I said caribou and bighorn sheep, and uh, I didn't mention moose, but yeah, um, moose are absolutely just majestic, and I absolutely love moose. And he is really not cooperating here. Really not cooperating. I'm trying to figure out here if I had to move. We could possibly get up on that hill over there, but I would love to stay here. Because this is a great position. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There he is. There he is. <laughs> He's doing that turn. We could take a neck shot. But still, I'd love to see him just turn one more time for me. Hmm. I just don't know what he's going to do. But you know what? This is uh, this is hunting, right? In real life, this is what you would do. You would watch and you would wait until you get that perfect shot. You wouldn't want to rush it. You would not want to rush it. Come on, big boy. I don't know if we did the right thing, but there he is. I don't know if that was a good shot or not, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little iffy on this one. I don't think we got a good shot on him. I'm waiting to see. Now, would he have come out? Wait, what's this? That looks like an old female if I had to take a guess um, I didn't see him step out so I'm gonna assume he died what is she doing <laughs> okay oh, hey there's there's blood right here actually did he uh wait did he come this way Small amount of blood, red and clear, so we didn't, we didn't hit him good. We didn't hit him good at all, damn it. So wait, why is he coming down this way, though? That's... That's the thing that's kind of got me. Why? It didn't look like he came this way. I mean, maybe he did, but... Wait, wasn't the initial hit around here somewhere? Hmm. Did I miss Mark? Okay, possibly I I did. Okay, guys, so we totally screwed up that last moose, and he was the biggest one I've seen so far until now. Um, so what happened was I tracked that moose for a long ways, and the blood just stopped. It just vanished. So he definitely didn't die. You know, <laughs> goddamn ducks. <laughs> the... uh the blood, it, it was red, it was clear. Obviously, it was a bad hit. We will... Oh my god, can you please... Shut up, Doc Scott! But, uh, so yeah, it was just a bad hit, and we didn't get him. But, right behind these trees, guys, is something even bigger. We have 
a five-star moose. And, uh, yeah, I cannot begin to tell you guys how thrilled I am. Oh, my God. And they're going to come right out here, guys. They're going to come right out. Let's, uh, let's get ready here. I cannot believe they're going to come right out here. This is crazy. Oh my God, there he is, guys. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. He's massive. <laughs> whoa, 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 where's he going? Where's he going? Okay, he didn't go down. That had to be a good hit. That had to be a good hit. That is a massive five-star bull moose, guys. Wow. <laughs> I cannot believe uh, they just stepped right out like that. I mean, <laughs> that was just amazing luck. Amazing luck. We're going to... Oh, you know what? I just, I just see them drop, guys. I just see them drop. No way. Uh, yeah, here's his blood. Can we get up here? If he did, we should be able to as well. Yes, and like I said, I, I swear to God, I think I just seen him drop. Oh my God, I did. He's right here. Oh wow. I don't know. I don't know if he's as old as the other one. But he is huge. Absolutely massive. Alright guys, so let's let's pick him up here. Wow, look at the pommies on him. Absolutely fantastic. With the 300 win mag, double lung shot from 107.7 yards away. Five star and 91.77%. So, the question is, where did he score? A 467. So, definitely not the largest five-star moose you could find. But he's definitely a good one. And he's another five-star animal that we're going to add to the trophy lodge. And uh, the 467 and kind of how he looks makes me think that maybe he could have gotten a little bigger. Uh, Score-wise, anyway, but it doesn't matter. I am, I am over the moon with this guy. So we will taxidermy him. And uh, wow, what what an amazing what an amazing hunt this has become. Like I said, we have that big four star back there that I don't feel like he's dead. So we'll have to go back and check on him later. And then I'll show you guys where I am. I came over to this campsite here. And literally, we're right here. This is where we found him. Right up in this swampy area. Right in here. Wow. And look it. There's literally a hunting tower. <laughs> a hunting stand. Right right here. Absolutely amazing. But uh, we're not done, guys. That's not where we're going to end the video. We're, uh, we're just getting started. Let's see if we can't get another moose. If we can't get another big one... At least maybe see if we can find some more that have potential. And like I said, um, at the end of the video, maybe I'll go back to the original spot and see if we can't get those moves to come back. Because like I said, I really don't think that I killed him. All right, guys. So after hunting around for several days, man, I think we finally found... Our big four-star moose. I could be wrong, but I think we found him. I uh, I caught a glimpse of some moose moving in, and I didn't see him. I did spot him. I did spot his antlers, but I did spot his fur. So they're just drinking in a different spot, which, again, with this game, that's how it is. It totally makes sense. We have this big area, you know, 
they don't have to be tied to that exact spot. So they move just a little bit, but I need to uh, I need to get around because I need to get the best view view of them. Calm, still calm. So I'm gonna try to kind of move away from them until we can find a, a decent vantage point. And I really don't know where a decent vantage point's going to be. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there's a young. There's another young. Hmm. Maybe if we could get up on that that hillside right right there in front of me, we might be in good view. There he is right there, guys. There he is. There's our four star right there. Oh my god, I can't believe we're seeing him again. We will definitely know if we pick him up and we see that there's another bullet lodged in him. Okay. Still 273 yards. I think we should be... Oh, God, I'm not even crouching. What am I doing? I'm just walking? Hmm. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to check the difficulty level on this now because... Feels like upright. We would have probably spooked him. Let's, uh... Hmm. Let's, uh, let's hope I'm doing the right thing here, guys. Let's hope I'm, I'm going to go to the right spot. This is, uh... This is actually farther away than I thought it was. Gosh, I don't want to just run through the water like that, but... It usually makes you stand up anyway. Let's see here. Still calm. Okay, I can see movement right over there. So, yeah, I think if we get to this kind of rocky outcrop here, we should be good. We should be able to set eyes on them pretty decently. We'll be up high. Hopefully, we'll be up over that brush over there. So, this is actually pretty exciting because... We got that four-star moose that uh, we messed up a shot on. And then we got that giant five-star. And now, hopefully, we'll be able to redeem ourselves and take down this big four-star. Let's get up to the uh, the top here. Okay. Let's take a look. Hmm. Where were they? Please don't tell me I spooked them. Oh, no, 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 they're right over there. They're right over there. They're on the move, actually. There he is right there. There he is right there. Okay, let's get up to the top here. Still calm. Can I get up here? God, I wish I could get up there. Okay, there's our big... Bull Moose right there, guys. There he is, right there. 212 out. Okay, we got him. We got him. <laughs> Did we get him good enough, though? I mean, I I think so. Yeah, he's going down. He's going down. 
He went down right there, guys. Right there. Another big bull moose down. Okay, let's uh, let's take off the binos. Okay, I think he is dead. All right. Awesome, awesome. I actually love the fact that we were able to come back and get that same moose that we messed up the shot on. The fact that he survived and we were able to take him down after all, it's, uh, it's pretty sweet, man, pretty sweet. And if I'm being honest, guys, I've been hunting around for these moose, and <laughs> these are the two biggest I've seen on the map. I have a lot of young and smaller adults on the map right now. Um, these are literally the, the two best. Like, there weren't any other moose that I really felt comfortable taking out because I feel like they had the potential to possibly grow into something larger. Um, a one-star adult, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of thing where I don't know, you know, when it became an adult, so. Look at him, I mean, he's another good size. He's another good size bull. All right, let's pick this guy up and see. Yeah, yes, okay. First shot. Flesh. Oh wow, we that really was a bad shot. That really was a bad shot. That was our first shot. And then our second shot was a double lung. Left lung, right lung. So actually where when I hit him. Hmm. Yeah, I should have hit a little higher, a little bit more forward on that one. But this second hit, this was an absolutely gorgeous hit. This was absolutely perfect to take down this big four-star moose. Overview on him, 81.32%. So I definitely feel like he was uh, towards the end of his lifespan. Yeah, he only scored a 425, so... I definitely feel like we made the right choice on him. We will sell him. And you know what, guys? We have enough money to now buy the Stair Monoblock. And also, with that, I am going to head back to the lodge and see what we want to put that big five-star moose. All right, guys, so... We're here back at the lodge, and uh, I I think I kind of want to put him on a plaque. Um, I kind of don't want to spend the money to put him on a, on a full body mount. Although, I mean, we could. We could probably put him, like, right here. But I'm guessing that's going to cost a lot of money. I really would like to get that other gun. Is there any other... American Black Bear Tech for Wolves. Two moose fighting. Oh, I could have actually taxidermized both of those at four and the five. An American Black Bear in a moose fight. That would be pretty cool. Okay, but you know what? We're not going to do that now. Like I said, I think I want to put him on a plaque. I just don't know... Which one? The one over the fireplace would have been ideal, but we put our big white tail over there. Can we put him possibly here? I don't know. Uh, no. Wait a minute. Change the diorama. Pa. Yes. Okay, so let's see here. Moose said calm. Okay, I kind of like that one there. Let's... $400. Yeah, we could definitely afford that. Let's... Let's put him there. There we go, guys. Look at that. 
That's our first five star moose in the lodge. Absolutely awesome, man. Absolutely awesome. You know, the more I think about it, I should have probably taxidermized that four star, but oh well. All right, guys. So I think that's where we're going to end the video for today. We are going to go over here and we are going to buy this here gun. $6,760. Let's see here. What other weapons do we need? Those are the 22s. I. Not really keen I get indulged yet. But this one here is 308. This is probably the most powerful tier 5 weapon. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's uh, pull the trigger, <laughs> uh, pun intended, and finally buy this. All right, there we go. All right, guys, so that was an amazing hunt. Again, you know what? We only got two animals, but that's, that's the way it goes. Like I said, it's not that I didn't spot... More moose, it's just I didn't spot any moose that I really wanted to harvest. So I got the two that I wanted, and uh, yeah, overall, it was a really great hunt. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are having as much fun in Way of the Hunter as I am. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. But until then, happy hunting.